Now, this the next question was also posted by Vidya. Uh, what is given here? Arjun is traveling at a speed of 50 km per hour, overtakes Karan, who is traveling at a speed of 20 km per hour at 6 pm. He further overtakes Bharat at 8 pm, who is moving at a speed of 30 km per hour. At what time Bharat overtook Karan? Try this. Take the next one or two minutes, try it and let me know the answer that you get and then I will go about solving it. Got the answer for this? Arjun travelling at a speed of 50 km per hour overtakes Karan who is travelling at a speed of 20 km per hour at 6 pm. He further overtakes Bharat who is uh, moving at a speed of 30 km per hour. At what time Bharat overtook Karan? Okay, what is given here? Arjun is travelling at a speed of 50 km per hour, overtakes Karan, travelling at a speed of 20 km per hour at 6 pm. So, let us just uh, draw the time frame here, 6 pm is the time now. At 6 pm what happens is uh, Arjun and Karan, basically Arjun is overtaking Karan at 6 pm. So, Arjun and Karan are at the same place at 6 pm. Okay, and um, Arjun is traveling with a speed of 50 kilometers per hour, and Karan is traveling with a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. He further overtakes Bharat at 8 pm, who is moving with a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. And this Arjun is overtaking Bharat at 8 pm. So, by the time it is 8 pm, first Arjun was here. Okay, now when it is 8 pm, what is happening is Arjun is overtaking Bharat. So, what will be the distance that is travelled by Arjun by the time it is 8 pm? Um, Arjun travels with a speed of 50 kilometers per hour. So, in 2 hours, Arjun will cover 100 kilometers. Correct? 50 kilometers in 1 hour he will cover. So, in 2 hours, Arjun will cover 100 kilometers and Arjun is reaching here. And who is there here at this point? He is overtaking Bharat. And Bharat is travelling with a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. Hour. The question is at what time did Bharat overtake Karan? So, let us just backtrace and see what could be the time where Bharat could have overtaken Karan. Now, at the same 8 pm, where will Karan be? Let us find that first of all. At the same 8 pm, see Karan is travelling with a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. So, in 2 hours, Karan would have travelled only 40 kilometers. So, Karan will be here, right? Karan will have another 60 kilometers to cover to reach Bharat. Okay, or at 8 pm, the distance between Bharat and Karan, how much is that? At 8 pm, distance between Bharat and Karan is 60 kilometers, correct? Because Karan has travelled 40, this total distance is 100. So, distance between Karan and Bharat at 8 pm is uh, 60 kilometers, okay? Now, now let us see at 6 pm. What will happen? Where is Bharat and where is Karan? Right? If I am taking the time to be 6 pm again, see I know Karan is here. Correct? And uh, Bharat is here at 8 pm. So, at 6 pm, what would be the distance that Bharat would have travelled? See, Bharat is travelling with a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. At 8, a, 8 pm, Bharat is here at this point. Yes? So, in the Previous 2 hours, that is when the time was 6 o'clock, right? From there till 8 pm, that is 2 hours, Bharat would have travelled 30 into 2 or 60 kilometers. So, where was Bharat when Karan is here? At 6 pm, Karan is here, Bharat would have actually been 40 kilometers away. Because this 60 kilometers, right? That is what Bharat has travelled from 6 pm to 8 pm. So, in 2 hours, what is happening? The distance between uh, Karan and Bharat. Right? If I go back 2 hours, the distance between them is reduced. Earlier, now it is 60 kilometers. Now, the distance between Karan and Bharat is 40 kilometers. So, like that you keep back tracing and see where they could actually meet. Yes? So, let us say, similarly, let us take 4 pm. 4 pm, if you see where both of them are. Right? See, 6 pm, Karan is here, Bharat is here. So, by the time it is 4 pm, 6 pm to 4 pm again is another 2 hours. So, what was the distance uh, that would have been covered by uh, Bharat in 2 hours? Bharat would have covered 60 kilometers. Correct? So, when the time is let us say 4 pm, Bharat would be here. Right? When the time is, let me choose another color so that it is not confusing. When the time is uh, 4 pm, 
this 40 plus 20, right? Two more hours behind. So Bharat would be here. And where will Kamal be in this uh, two hours? How much will Kamal travel? Kamal would have traveled 40 kilometers. So the distance between uh, Bharat and Kamal now will be again another 20, right? See from here, Kamal would have traveled 40 kilometers. From here, Bharat would have traveled 60 kilometers. So now the distance between them is 20 kilometers. Now again, look for 2 p.m. Right at 2 p.m. or at 3 p.m. Right like that if you check you will be able to get the answer. See all I am trying to do is this. Okay. This much I hope all of you understood. Right. Distance between. There is a distance that is travelled by A in 2 hours is 100 kilometers. And uh, Bharat would be here. Right. Before at 6 o'clock. Bharat would be. See at 6 o'clock I am just checking. Right. At 6 o'clock where will Bharat be? Bharat will be. Here, right, Bharat, this 60 kilometers is what Bharat has covered in the next two hours. So at 6 o'clock, Bharat will be here and Kamal will be here or the distance between Bharat and Kamal at 6 o'clock is 40 kilometers. Is that clear? At 8 p.m., distance between Bharat and Kamal is 60 kilometers. At 6 p.m., distance between Bharat and Kamal is 40 kilometers. Similarly, I am finding out at 4 p.m., what is the distance between Bharat and Kamal. At 4 p.m. what is the distance between Bharat and Kamal? So at 6 p.m. if I am saying uh, this was Kamal right and this was Bharat and this distance was 40. At 4 p.m. what is happening? Two hours before 6 p.m. right? Two hours. In that two hours Bharat would have reached this point. This is where Bharat would have reached. This is 20 kilometers and Kamal in this two hours would have traveled totally 40 kilometers only. So Kamal will be here right 20 plus 20 40 kilometers so this is the new position of Kamal and Bharat at 4 p.m. now the distance between them is 20 kilometers so if I take let us say 2 o'clock right what will happen at 2 o'clock by the time it is 2 o'clock in the next two hours what will happen to uh, Kamal so at 4 p.m. what was the case Bharat was here Kamal was here distance between them is 20 kilometers in the next two hours Kamal will travel 40 kilometers, correct, and reach this point. Bharat in this next two hours will travel another 60 kilometers, right, because he is going at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. So in the next two hours, Bharat would have traveled 60 kilometers and he will also be at the same point. So at 2 p.m. they should meet or that is the point where Bharat would be overtaking Kamal clear at 4 p.m. what is the distance between Bharat and Kamal it was 20 kilometers and in the uh, before one hour before Bharat uh, Kamal would have traveled 20 kilometers and Bharat would have traveled 30 so the distance with the, between them will be 10 kilometers it cannot be zero yeah see basically what I tried to do was I just tried to backtrace there is no other concept involved the only thing that you have to know is what is the distance traveled by the person in two hours or three hours like that that's all you have you need to know Okay, might be the way I explained it was not very clear. I'll try to explain it once again more with uh, more clearly. So initially we found out that this person A, Arjun is traveling 100 kilometers in two hours. Yes, so we found out at 6 p.m. Right, at 6 p.m. what was the distance, uh, where was Kamal? So the distance between Kamal and Bharat, we are looking at Kamal and Bharat only, distance between Kamal and Bharat at 6 p.m. was 40 kilometers at 8 p.m. their distance was 60 kilometers so similarly what is happening is at 4 p.m. distance between them is 20 kilometers basically so at 2 p.m. the distance has to be 0 kilometers yes that is what I have just tried to represent here diagrammatically right so your answer will be 2 p.m. that is option 1